The annual breeding duck survey was just completed in North Dakota. Today we're going to visit with waterfall biologist Mike Szymanski and go over all the details. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Every year we get out, uh, usually mid-May. This year we are running about a week later than normal due to the late spring. But we go out with four crews, four two-person crews across the state, run eight transects that run just about from South Dakota to Canada or all the way in some instances. And uh, we survey a total of 816 miles of transect, looking out uh, 220 yards each side of the transect, counting all uh, wetlands and ducks down to species and social group along with Canada geese and coots. Now we get the first look at habitat conditions. We don't really get any kind of um, data back from the Fish and Wildlife Service on their coordinated North American survey until mid to late August. So this really gives us our first look at habitat conditions across the state to be able to begin communications with our, our hunting public and anybody else that's interested in duck numbers and and habitat conditions in North Dakota. It was a pretty good year for wetland conditions. Again, as we know, uh, you know, we had a lot of snow last winter, so we ended up with our seventh highest uh, wetland index, uh, which is actually down 26% uh, from last year, but last year was our second highest. It was a very wet spring last year, so a uh, little bit less on that side of things, but still very, very good. Ducks are a little different story. Uh, we had a fairly strong number again, but not quite as good as our wetland conditions would show. We had our 23rd highest breeding duck index at just above 3.4 million. Uh, it's up very slightly from last year. Last year we were slightly below 3.4 million. So, you know, within that number there's a few nuances. Our two most abundant species were actually down this year and uh, mallards were down uh, about 10% from what we saw last year. Blue winged teal were down slightly. So. About 640,000 mallards and uh, 925,000 blue winged teal. But we did have strong showings from a few other species like uh, shovelers, redheads, canvasbacks, and uh, of course, you know, pintails being a very important uh, species uh, for the hunting public and also a species of management concern. They were up a little over 40% this year, which was good to get them back kind of to their average where we've been seeing in the in the 2000s when habitat conditions were really good. Canada goose numbers this year were actually down quite a bit, down 27% from last year. Of course, last year was an all-time high, so we still have uh, plenty of Canada geese, uh, just shy of 300,000 at uh, 297,000 is what we came up with on our survey. Um, Canada goose production this year may have been impacted a little bit by the really late spring and uh, cold spring as well. But above that, the, the precipitation that we got in early May, while it was really good for ducks, uh, probably did impact Canada goose nesting a little bit, flooding out some nests. So we'll have to wait and see what we get there for production on Canada geese, but overall still a really strong number. So our wetland conditions in the state were actually kind of spotty. We had some areas of the state where conditions were probably only fair versus other areas that were really in excellent condition for wetland conditions. Um, and that was really the result of four to eight inches of rain that we got during the first two weeks of May. Um, you know, taking it back to last fall, our fall wetland survey indicated that we were actually quite dry. We didn't have a lot of precip in late summer and fall. So all that snow we got during winter really helped just kind of catch us back up and get us out of drought but the four to eight inches of rain that some of these places, larger regions actually got in May are what made the conditions excellent in those places. Luckily, um, those areas also coincided with some of our better uh, nesting habitat for ducks. Good grass cover, good upland nesting cover. So it'll bode well for production as well this year. So unfortunately, our duck numbers have been waning a little bit over the last um, few years here where we're we're seeing really good wetland conditions and not quite the same response out of the ducks. Um, you know, a lot of that has to do with loss of grassland nesting habitat, loss of CRP, other native prairie habitats in conjunction with wetland loss and uh, some of these areas that are high wetland density areas. So 
What we really need to see is more grass come back into uh, these areas that have high wetland densities. If we're going to get back up into the top 15 on our duck index and hopefully back over uh, 4 million uh, nesting or breeding ducks in the state, you know, we really do need to have more grass and upland habitat nesting conditions in areas with high wetland densities. So what we do throughout the year is we have our May survey to kind of give us the first look of what we're seeing, uh, painting the broader picture to the public and helping inform, you know, our interactions with populations and the habitat, just like we're seeing with, you know, we've got the wetland base, we can host the breeding pairs, but we're just not producing as many ducks and we're seeing our population go down. We'll do another survey in July to help shore up, you know, kind of what our understanding of how ducks are producing in the state and communicate that to the public, but then we'll also do another fall wetland survey to help paint the, the picture of how hunting habitats are sorting themselves out just as we're getting into hunting season. In pretty good shape for, for ducks, um, 3.4 million is a, is a pretty good number, but we do need to get a little more nesting habitat back out there to, to really sustain ourselves in the long term. We will have pretty good production this year in our core areas for ducks and duck production, so that should help move us along next year into next year with uh, decent duck numbers.